Hello and welcome to Rifu's lovely kitchen. So I've been cooking up videos, but between that, I unfortunately also have to eat food in between working. So here are some simple potato dishes you can make at any time. I know today is a really silly day, but you know, any day is a good day for some good old potatoes. Hmm? Why potatoes, you ask? Well, potatoes can be eaten mashed, boiled, steamed, roasted, fried, and ETC. Overall, they're just highly versatile, sort of like eggs, but they have much more potential to be more tastier, which is what I am going to do today. Now, what can I teach you that you don't already know? Well, quite honestly, if you spend any time in the kitchen at all, you probably are better than me already. In fact, I'm known for burning my food half of the time that I cook and burning the entire kitchen the other half of the time. But contrary to popular belief, my food is not actually burnt. It just has personality that no one else prefers. But that's not really the point. See, today is for teaching the people who throw frozen pizza into the microwave and call it a dinner. So here's a day's worth of recipes where you can cook and eat potatoes for all of your meals, including a snack, brunch, and dinner. Anyway, let's start off with the quick snack. Ah uh, yes, this one is a classic in the Rifushi kitchen. I like serving it to anyone who comes to my house because it seems like no one really dislikes potatoes. Air fried potato. A small air fried potato with crispy skin. The objectively better version of the standard baked potato. So what you're going to need are some baby gold potatoes, salt, pepper, and oil. And of course, the air fryer itself. To start off, you're going to wash the skin since for this dish, you can eat the skin. So you don't want dirt all over it. Now that it's clean, you're going to poke the potato with a fork, which I don't remember the purpose of doing this, but I'll assume it's either for the potato to cook more evenly or for the seasoning to seep in. Next, douse it in oil so that the skin gets crispy when you put it in the air fryer. Once you're done, all you need to do now is add salt and pepper. See, it's pretty easy, right? You know, actually, I've never made this recipe myself before, so it'll be exciting because it's like, you know, it's like we're learning together. Oh, wow. Sometimes these potatoes are really silly and try to roll away, huh? <laughs> but it happens all the time, so uh, don't worry about it. Let's pop the rest into the air fryer at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. You see, there's no point at getting mad at things out of your control anyway, especially since they're just potatoes. So let's just toss that one away and continue. The most important thing I learned when I first started cooking is that things will be out of your control sometimes. You might end up burning your food, but that's okay since you're learning. It's just rough since it's a waste of ingredients and you don't have anything to eat anymore. But everyone messes up in the kitchen sometimes. If you push forward, maybe one day you can be as good as me. Look how crispy they look. Now be careful since they're fresh and hot. But they're pretty much ready to serve now. All you need to do is to cut it open with a knife and place a stick of butter inside for that classic American baked potato richness. It'll melt instantly and once it cools down, it tastes really amazing. Sometimes I do think it's interesting about the concept that plants are still alive. In some sense, it sort of scares me to think that the plants outside are alive and growing. Alright, so this is sort of off topic, but I had a biology project once where we had to grow a pinto bean and measure the length of the sprout each day. I don't know how to describe it, but waking up and seeing this thing grow another leaf felt so disturbing. An analogy I could give is it probably feels like an AI uprising for a normal person. It's something that you can't really understand and one day, maybe it'll be beyond even our control. But either way, 
I mean, potatoes would never really betray you since they're already out of the ground. So I don't think they're alive anymore. Yeah, like I wake up each day and they're pretty much the same. There's, th th there's no way it could start sprouting like a pinto bean would. What the fu- Oh, sorry about that that uh sometimes i start to see things if i look uh, at something too closely since we also do get defective potatoes sometimes and i don't really know where those come from but when that happens don't worry just toss those ones away uh, i i don't really know if anyone's really interested in potatoes you know like personally i think they're pretty cute but actually yeah, why are we making a video about potato? Uh, oh, you started the video already. Uh, okay, yeah, just remember to cut this part out later. So Aha, look at the time. It seems like after making our snack, it's already time to start preparing brunch. Don't worry, this one I have actually made before. So hopefully the potatoes don't run away this time. So the next recipe is potato hash, a filling meal for potato lovers. So you're going to grab a standard russet potato, half an onion, one to two eggs, and any other vegetables and meats you want to put in. Carrots and spinach work, and bacon also works if you're feeling spicy. And for the equipment, you'll need a standard pan with a lid. To start off, you can dice your onions, then dice any other vegetable and meats that you have. Alright, now it's time for the potatoes! You're going to wash and peel your potato. Afterwards, you're going to have to remove the arms and legs. You don't want your potato to escape while you're looking away. It's pretty normal that they run away, just like, you know, during the potato snack earlier. So you have to be careful. Now that they are immobilized, it's pretty simple from here. Now dice them into cubes. Put them in a bowl and microwave them for 3 minutes. See, the reason you microwave them is I'm not too sure about this one either, but I assume that they are easier to pan fry later. While they are in the microwave, the steam from the microwave makes them softer so that when you pan fry them, it won't just be crispy but also soft on the inside. Also, when you take them out at the end, they might have some brown spots on them. But I, I think you can just ignore that since it probably doesn't mean anything. Alright, three minutes are up. So now we can take them out and set them aside. Now let's start cooking the onions and any other vegetables you have and remove them from the pan afterwards. Now it's finally time to fry up your potato cubes and season it with salt, black pepper, and anything else you feel is appropriate. When the potatoes are properly crispy, add your onions back in. Finally, you're going to push the potatoes aside and create an empty hole like this. You will now crack your egg into the center and close the lid. Then your meal will be done. Please help us, somebody. Help, help it's us. really hot. Can someone oh, turn on the AC? Anymore. We're what dying happened to in us? Here. Ugh, don't, don't worry, I'll take care of this. Let's just cut the video to when. Ta da! Look at our final meal. It looks really good, doesn't it? It's a bit cold since I had to deal with some things before plating it. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my meal, so I'll be back after. Oh no, look at the time. It's already bedtime. I don't think we'll have time for the dinner recipe today. I wonder where all of our time went. Even though we couldn't get to dinner, I hope you learned a lot from my potato recipes. Don't worry about it the details too much. I mean, you know, with cooking, sure, there could be a lot of work. Buying the groceries, chopping, cooking, cleaning the dishes, and mistakes. But at the end of the day, sometimes a delicious meal you cooked by yourself makes it all worth it. Um, happy April Fools. All right, this clearly this video is a joke. It's literally posted on April Fool's Day, so I'm not actually insane. Okay, well, I still don't really like plants. Like, actually. <laughs> okay, when you think about it, even when you take a potato out of the ground, it's still alive. And even when you chop and boil it, it's still alive. So I wondered, at which point does a potato die? 
I mean, if I eat chicken, it's clearly not alive anymore. But when I eat a potato, it's alive. So I searched up, if I shoot a potato with a gun, is it still alive? And I'm pretty sure it said it's still alive. But you know, if you can shoot a chicken with a gun, then it is dead. So maybe plants really are the strongest in the world. So if anything, everyone should be afraid of plants. Anyway, I'm not actually crazy, so I better not hear anything in the comments about me being weird because this is just a joke. And yeah, I also have a Discord server linked in the description below, so please join and thank you for watching. Hey, I already told you guys to cooperate for this one video and you decided to ruin the entire thing. I said I'd stop eating potatoes for a month if everything went well, but your brothers decided to start screaming in the pan. So thanks to them, we're going to have a month-long potato feast instead. So maybe you guys should collectively be a little smarter next time.